Hey you guys, your girl Beauty with Mika and you guys already know I am here to give you guys a Sephora haul. By the time you guys are watching this, today is the last day for the Sephora sale. I was not tempted to go in store because I went in store twice already. Um, no shame in my game already. I know you guys are like, where is she? My status is Rouge again. I did make Rouge again. I do not have any shame on that. I did buy a couple of gifts, so that was good. But I wanted to go ahead and get this video out to you guys just to let you guys know what I bought. I'm still here. So first, I am going to start off with, let's see. I'm gonna start off with skincare before we even get to the makeup. So the first things that I did buy and I stuck to my list was I bought a Inky List Oak Cleansing Balm. I did purchase one of these. They went up, like I told you guys, a little bit on their price, maybe like a dollar or two which I didn't care, but I did purchase another one because these are definitely good. For $10.99, these are still great. A little bit of this goes a long way. So you guys know I do a double cleanse where now I use a micellar water, a cleansing balm or a cleansing oil, and then I will go in with my cleanser of choice for the day. So let's go on to, oh, some other things. I did go ahead and pick up the Polish Choice this is Normal Dry Advanced Replenishing Toner with Hyaluronic Acid. Did go ahead and pick this up because I needed a toner that is less harsh against my skin tone. And this one gives, this one is supposed to give me that. You guys know I am slowly baby stepping into the Polish Choice line. So I definitely want to get this. Um, some other things, let's see. Oh yeah, I got everything. Did go ahead and pick up my Ula Henrix H2O toner. Girl, I need to, I was like, I need to hurry up and do this video for you guys. Because when I tell you guys that I needed to re, re, like, I should have got two of these, honestly. I know I still have time, but I'm not going to do that. But we're, honestly, this has been doing so good on my skin. You guys know I purchased the travel size. And then I was like, let me go back and purchase the full size because my skin has done a 360 on just my dark spots, clearing up my skin. Like, my skin is like, girl, we need this all the time. It's not harsh on my skin or anything. So I definitely recommend if you have dark knot, dark spots, acne spots, um, anything like that, go ahead and use this. You will see a huge difference and wear your SPF because trust me, you gonna need it. All right, so I did get two toners. Now, Fenty was having a 30% off sale. You guys know that was totally separate than the Sephora sale. So I did go ahead on their website and I purchased the Butter Drop in the Mini because you guys know I will be going out of town soon and I wanted to have a travel size i actually i will say that these are great gift items i gave these out to like my hairstylist and a few other people that actually just take care of me and they love this especially because if you don't want to spend the 38 dollars, this is a good item to just give somebody as a gift and when i tell you they're like oh i have to go back and spend 38 dollars to get this because they loved it now something else i did repurchase you guys know i already got the full size in the fenty i have to keep this on deck like if you have not tried this girl try it then I went inside Sephora and I recently asked them because my shout out to my girl who works for products here on YouTube. She had been, Fenty has been having this cookies and cream detox face mask. It wasn't available on their site. It was just not available. They didn't have a release date on this. And I went in store and I asked the girl, I was like, do you guys have this? She was like, yes. Now you guys know, I really don't talk about a lot of clay masks that I use, but I really wanted to get this. So I will be showing you guys an updated skincare routine for this year. And I'll use this. This is great if you have problematic skin. I have hormonal breakouts every so often, but I definitely like that this has salicylic, salicylic silic acid in it so to combat those um acne problematic areas that i have or breakouts i did see only one review on youtube about this and the girl was a dermatologist so i was like okay you know what there's not a lot of reviews because this ain't out so it should be released by the time you guys watch this video but i would definitely encourage you guys to go ahead and try this out okay, so something else that i pick up i stuck to the list this is the sephora daily clean refresh daily brush cleaner you guys know this is not the same one that i've used before i don't know if they're discontinuing or anything i went in the store twice didn't see it but other than that i did pick this one up um this one is a little bit cheaper than the clinique daily brush cleaner so i picked this one up since the sephora brand was 30 percent off this one was 15 dollars, so you know the 30 percent off i had to take it now let's go on to fragrances. I only picked up two fragrances. Normally I never pick up fragrances during this uh, spring sale. I always wait for the fall sale. But shout out to my girl Cadence. She told me to pick up the Victor and Roth Roller uh, Ball and Nectar. 
Girl, I smelled this and I was like, ooh, hoo, hoo. And Gabe Flowers had talked about this. She literally went in store and picked up this, the travel size and the full size. You guys know I am a huge um, Flower Bomb fan. I don't like the original scent anymore. So I was like, you know what? I'll give this one a try. When I smelled this, I was like, I'm taking this with me. So shout out to Cadence for talking about it. Then you guys know I am a huge. Now I have a complete set of Kaoli and I recommend getting the minis girl. I got the newest one that came out, Vanilla 28, 25 to 27 dollars plus 20 percent off girl you can't beat that with a stick so now i have the entire collection i believe there's like 12 cents you don't need those crazy full size just get these little travel size ones they smell just as good as the big ones unless you want to spend the money but trust me these are good and this is what it looks like if you're wondering it is so cute let me just smell it i might as well smell it right this one is a vanilla musk yeah this one isn't they have a vanilla cocoa that one smells like pure vanilla. This one has a vanilla musk scent in it. And I do like the pack. I always like their packaging, but I'm done. So if they ever, anytime Kaoli comes out with scents, I just go blindly and purchase all of them when they come out. And I always get the travel size. All right. So let's go on. Let's go on to makeup. And then at the end of this video, I'm going to show you guys some stuff that I was buying that was not related to this sale. So I did go ahead and pick up the one size waterproof, um, makeup setting spray you guys know i have told you guys over and over about this i tried that travel size and was like why did i purchase the travel size so i went on and picked up the full size this is just as good as the charlotte tilbury um setting spray i actually like both um they both do different things but they both set your makeup in place it doesn't budge it moves so girl try the one size all right now let's go on to makeup i'm gonna start with let's see sephora so i went in because all things k Everybody was posting their haul videos and I was like, okay, let me watch her haul video. She had talked about this Sephora highlighting duo and it's called Golden Hour. So I went and picked this up. I was like, let me try it out. Sephora brand always has good. This is one of those highlight duos that is more, let's see, it says a low beam. So this is your low beam and this is your high beam. So I really do like it. That is very subtle. This is the darkest shade they have. So I did pick it up and I blame her. I also picked up, let's see, this is the NARS Shimmer Summer Unrated Dine, um, Blush and Bronzer Duo. Girl, girl, this was at um, Ulta, but Ulta didn't have the sale. So I was like, well, I'm going to just get the 20% off. This is what that looks like. And I believe they have like two or three different shades. I have no regrets. This is so beautiful. So it's a blush and bronzer duo. So you get the blush is... Um, dynamite and the bronzer is surface so yeah i will be using this and the packaging is so cute i don't want to blind you guys but it's so pretty you guys are probably wondering where am i filming in my living room you're out to come out that vanity i was like i'm gonna just film in a different location if you guys like this area let me know because i'll film more in here another blush that i picked up is from bare minerals i haven't tried bare minerals in so long when i tell you guys i have not tried bare minerals i remember i used to use that bare minerals powder like all over powder that's when i first started to get a makeup and then it's it escalated so i did pick up the bare minerals gin nude bronzer and it's a blush bronzer duo i got kiss of rose i know nisi w uses bare minerals a lot so i sent her this and i wanted to pick it up and this is what it looks like and that's what it looks like so I did go ahead and pick this up because it really did look good and I was actually happy that it came in stock right when the sale hit. Now I did go ahead and pick up a makeup by Mario Ultra Suede Cozy Lip Cream. Kay's Way talked about this. I picked up this shade Matcha Latte and I was like, I don't need these because I just bought a ton of lipsticks. But when I did go in store, I swatched it and I was like, okay, I'll take a new because a lot of their shades did not look appealing to me, I will say. They look more like... um dupes of other shades and this one is a pretty nude a lot of times i like a nude color lipstick when i just don't know what i'm gonna wear most of the time i'll grab nudes now let's go on to danessa myers because i purchased two of danessa myers foundations and don't be on the phone with friends when you in sephora shopping because they will influence you so the first thing i picked up from danessa myers is vision cream coverage this is her two-in-one foundation and concealer if you're wondering i am in this shade w06 i did swatch this in store this one is full coverage like this one is better than 
I would say this one is actually better than KVD, actually. So if you're looking for full coverage, even remember when Dermablend, I'm not sure if Dermablend actually had foundations. But this is better than Dermablend. So this will cover the mess out of something. And this is what it looks like. This was only $22. So I did like that. But I did go in and swatch in store. I highly say for like foundation, especially like this, go in the store and swatch it. Now, Danessa came out with a new foundation. I was not going to get this foundation. It was not on my list. But my friends recommended it to me. So I picked up the Danessa Myricks Yummy Skin Serum Foundation in shade 21 in this is a tad and i'm gonna say just like a smidge of dark then dark darker on my complexion but it blends so good and it's gonna look so good so you guys know i'm gonna already bring you a video on it i know i owe you guys tons of foundation videos i promise i will get this to you guys so you can see it right now it is it, it's a tad but i'm gonna be honest with you guys when i did go in store i tried to swatch i swatched a shade lighter two shades lighter and the shade second lightest one it was just too light it was for like my light skin sisters the shade in the middle of this one it was 20 in and 21 and 19. 20 was like so we blended 20 in 20 in and 21 in together and when i tell you guys it was the perfect blend but i'm gonna show you guys a trick that i was recommended with concealer and doing all that i'll show you guys on camera but i did like this packaging and i feel like honestly the shade will work out i'm gonna show you guys a trick on camera stay tuned for that video i also picked up the yummy skin um glow serum this is juice boost so you will see this all coming soon because i really want to see what this looks like but this is supposed to give you that natural glow skin like look and we'll see all right so Another thing that I picked up and we're almost done, then we'll go to the stuff that I bought, not related to the sale. KVD Lightweight Full Coverage um, Concealer. I got the shade Deep 179. I did go in store and swatch this and this is what it looks like. I did go in store and swatch this because I was like, I don't know about this shade. So I was a little finicky about purchasing some shades online because the Sephora um, Shade Matcher, it never, it always says I don't have a shade available like in nothing i was like how is that even possible so i did go ahead and pick this up i knew that was on the list now something that wasn't on the list is this hourglass ambient lighting volume three i watched this like maybe a month ago i sent it to my friends a few of my friends like girl i purchased that because you sent me the swatches and i was like oh well maybe i should go ahead and purchase it so this is what the packaging looked like you know hourglass got in trouble with volume two now they came out volume three and volume three i was like okay yes so this one is definitely women of color friendly. I say if you can get your hands on it. It is definitely pretty. So I will show you guys what this looks like. But this was not on my list. And I was like, okay, let me get it. So something that did come and I would tell you guys, please check your Sephora packages because I ordered the Patrick Ta Extra Dimension, Major Dimension Eyeshadow in Rose. The Lord said, please check your palette. And when I check my palette, my eyeshadows, I had like three eyeshadows broken. So I did check my palette. I called Sephora and they're great about their customer service, especially if the item's in stock. They sent it to me immediately right away. So I didn't wait as long. I caught them on a Saturday and today's Monday and I got my palette. So I did go ahead and they sent me a new one. I have no damages. This is what the packaging looks like. Similar to the other palette, Major Dimension 1. And I'm not going to blind you guys, so... This is what it looks like. So this was on my list. I was just waiting for it to get in stock and I was purchasing it. You guys know I'm already gonna come back and give you the tea on this palette because this took some time to get. Now something that wasn't on my list, this wasn't on my list, but I was like, girl, you like them colors. Um, Melt Cosmetics recently came out with Gemini 2. You guys know they had Gemini 1. We heard about that one so they released gemini 1 gemini 2 they actually honored the sephora sale and gave people 20 percent off the day of the release and with that i got two now two has a mixture two has a mixture of one and two so i would say like these first three or four shades is a little bit from 
Gemini 1 and then the rest of these are all from Gemini 2. When I looked at this palette, I looked at it more and more and I can be honest with you guys and be like, yeah, I would use this palette. There's all the shades in here that I would be able to use and it's not any shades that I would be like, okay, well, I can only use three out of the four. So that's why I purchased this one versus um, Gemini 1. I really do like this one, so shout out to Milk Cosmetics. I will definitely be giving you guys a tea on this. I feel like with this palette, you could pretty much, and I'm gonna show you guys, you could pretty much go day to night um, and go vamp. You could wear this vessel definitely as a glam look. Like, oh, I got one of them like sexy vixen looks or dinner out with your friends. That's, that's what this is giving me. So shout out to Melt for that. Now let's go into some things that I was not supposed to buy after this. Oh, before we start, y'all, I have a box full of samples because I got a ton of samples. I got the Alien Perfume. I got a Stella Foundationless um, Foundation Samples. So for whoever be doing their warehouse shipping, they throw everything in the bag for you. I also got Gucci Flora. I got an LYS serum um, set in here for their foundations. I got the YSL Home. I got the Valentino Donna. I got the Killian. Killian Don't Be Shy. I got a lot of perfume samples. They always do a lot of perfume samples. I went in store and I got the Jo Malone Wood Sage and Sea Salt Cologne. So a lot of these are going to my husband. Um, I did want this one. This is a fresh rose deep hydration face mask. So I did pick up like a mini in that. And please tell me if my um, ring light is washing everything out. I did get a replica, what is this? Autumn Vibes perfume. So many samples. Uh, Danessa Myrigs, her vision flush. Oh, this is her vision cheeks. So this goes cheeks, lips, and eyes sample. Um, what else? I got the Fresh Clean Melt Away Cleansing Balm. This is great for travel, so that may go in my travel bag. Uh, Tom Ford Ombre Leather for my husband. I just put all these samples. Now, this is what I did when I got two of these. These are the necessary body washes. So I did use my 100 points. And I got two eucalyptus because I just didn't really want to purchase the necessary this sale. And I was like, I'm going to just get the samples um let's see i got my way from joji Armani, which i already have and i like it um and then i also got oh yeah so when i went in store i did get two samples of this face serum from danessa myers so you guys know i already have juicy boost and i wanted main squeeze main squeeze was sold out so i was happy about that and what else girl it's like a box full it was a lot of samples in here i did get the brow pomade warm three from Benefit and last but not least was the Ellis Brooklyn massage and body oil so yep all samples all right so Ulta 21 days of beauty girl I picked up four of the Anastasia brow pencils they're not here but I did purchase four of those and then I wanted this this is the Peter Thomas Roth Peter Thomas Roth water drench high hyaluronic cloud moisturizer with spf 45 this is so good i've had my little jar for the longest i got it maybe about a year ago in a travel size form and when i tell you guys during those winter months my skin loves this but this sucker is 54 dollars. so when ulta had it for 26 dollars, it was raining and i drove my butt out there after work to go get it because i was like for $26, I will buy it because I wasn't trying to buy it even at the 20% off discount. And I got it. So I ran in the store. The girl gave it to me in my hand because there was only one left. And I was like, thank you, Jesus. And I also like with the expiration date, it's back here. It doesn't expire until like September 2023. So shout out. If you have dry skin, you would definitely want to use this any time of the day. I highly recommend this. Like, girl, I was driving safely in the rain to get this. Now, let's go on to some things, some other stuff. All right, so shout out to Sephora. I did get my birthday gift. Happy birthday to all my Taurus. I'm a Taurus, but a shout out to happy birthday to my Aries folks. So I did go ahead and get my birthday gift, which I picked up the Tatcha set because you guys know I love the Tatcha set and I get a free uh, dewy cream. So you guys know I love this set. And then they gave me a sample of the liquid silk canvas in here. I don't even, they're still selling that. 
All right, so let's go on to some things. So one of my friends from, my friend, she recommended that I try the lip bar, one of their lipsticks, and she's red, what is this one? Boss Lady. This is a perfect red for women of color, so I did pick this up. She loves it, it looks so good on her skin, so she's like, you gotta pick it up. This like is $15.99, I got it out of Target. So I would definitely say Lip Bar is available. Um, check them out, I have a couple of their lip products already and I love them, you guys know I already have their tinted moisturizer and i think some other stuff but lip bar definitely check them out i just got mine out of target i know they're also available in walmart and again this is boss lady all right so i did pick up a during the ulta sale i did pick up a wet and wild blush this one is in mellow wine i remember i had this years ago like oh they changed the packaging but this is one of those og favorites that i had to repurchase again and i was like oh when makeup expires we don't think about repurchasing some things. We just throw it away and be like, oh, I'm gonna repurchase. Well, I did go repurchase. All right, and another thing that I purchased from Wet n Wild was the Color Icon My Lip Charm. I went on and purchased this one. This is really, really good. It, I just like the colors in here. That's why I was like, I just like the colors. This is one of their newest one. I always check the Ulta website to check for all the new releases. And this was one and it was $3. You can't beat it with stick. It kind of reminds me of the e.l.f. eyeshadow palette. All right, so last but not least, Makeup Geek is going out of business. Um, Marlena announced that on her YouTube channel. If you haven't watched, if you're an OG Makeup Geek person, you already know. So she was doing literally like 75% off everything i'm not sure if she's still sold out yet but if you're interested definitely check out makeup geek i have tons of makeup geek shadows makeup geek was an og brand and the time has come that makeup geek is no longer like a lot of brands and with that i was like i'm gonna take advantage of 75 percent off because they weren't even like at eye mats or anything trust me so i did have to pick up one of their compacts which i have so many of these um so in order to do that especially also too she doesn't use the same packaging anymore. So I was like, you know what? I need to pick up the compact. It comes with a mirror and it's a magnetic compact that you're gonna need for your eyeshadows, trust me. So let's go into the eyeshadows and then I'll show you guys the brushes that I picked up. So the first eyeshadow is Jester. Second eyeshadow is Curtain Call. Third eyeshadow is Untamed. Fourth one is Cheetah Bear. This is renamed after Coco Bear and I had to get it. And last one is Epic. So I went through and picked up some shadows that I didn't have and I knew I wanted, especially Cheetah Bear because y'all remember when it was Coco Bear, everybody had to have Coco Bear. But something that a lot of people never talk about is actually the Makeup Geek brushes and I really do like their brushes. And I was waiting because I was like, oh, I could really like restock up on some Makeup Geek brushes. So I did go ahead and pick up one of her face brushes. Yeah. So this is one of her face brushes, which I've never had. And then I purchased almost like two each of just her regular brushes. So this one is her soft dome brush. This is another soft dome brush. I did go ahead and pick up a concealer brush, a defined crease brush, multi-purpose eyeshadow brush, what is an outer V brush, defined crease brush. My creases and my shadow brushes, girl, I be needing like two of these. And there was Makeup Geek was leaving too. And another, another multi-purpose eyeshadow brush. All right, that is it, you guys. Um, Yeah, this was it. I'm done. I will talk to y'all about another sale come the fall. My goal is to only shop sales for makeup. I don't need anything. So this will all get me till the fall. My goal for the fall sale is definitely to restock up on as much of my skincare because I know I'm definitely gonna need a lot of skincare and then my essentials. So you know, my brows, my cleansing oils, my setting sprays, those are essentials that I don't mind restocking. I don't have a problem restocking up on 
for fall you guys know fall sales are always the biggest sales because all the holiday stuff come out so i'm being very meticulous about how i'm spending this year and how i'm shopping and my goal is to shop only two sales a year for sephora and nothing in between including ulta too so i'm good i don't need nothing i know y'all hear me say that all the time but thank you guys for always supporting my channel if you guys enjoyed this video don't forget the thumbs up like comment subscribe let me know what you guys think of the new couch the background you girl wanted to mix it up a little bit you guys will probably see me do more videos in here definitely the rest of this year stay blessed don't forget to like comment subscribe please comment and let me know what you guys have been buying please check your comments because sometimes i'll be replying to y'all and y'all never know when I'm doing a giveaway. So talk to you guys soon. Stay blessed. Bye.